It is a massive laboratory and classroom. Students learning to solve crimes get hands on training at the Forensic Anthropology Research Facility at Texas State University. Some may know it as the body farm. Erica Hernandez gives us a look inside the research facilities. We do want to warn you, some of these images could be disturbing. Indoor and outdoor labs make up the Forensic Anthropology Research Facility, or FARF. Our goal is you know, to provide, we do casework, uh, so, we, so we have a service, we have outreach, we are trying to uh, educate the community as well. Uh, then we have the education components, which is our own students, but also workshops like this for law enforcement. And, and then, of course, the research. Several different research projects from researchers around the world are currently taking place. Dr. Daniel Westcott is the facility director and explains that researchers not only focus on the external part of the body, but also look closely within and study skeletal remains. These are the ones that are, are placed on the surface um, for uh, decomposition studies. The 26-acre outdoor human decomposition laboratory, or body farm, is the largest facility of its kind in the world. Donated bodies are laid out in various outdoor elements and in different scenarios, some just on the surface in the sunlight, others in shallow graves, and some deeper in the ground. All of this done to learn more about human decomposition and to train in methods of searching and recovering human remains. These will eventually be processed down and the skeletons will come out to go back to the other lab. Once in the lab, the bones are further analyzed and then placed in a skeletal collection for future research. And that research will continue for years to come as a thousand living people are already pre-registered as donors to this unique forensic program. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.